Welcome to the Great British Florist. Hope you'll enjoy our website full, packed with British flowers from Lower Blakemere Farm and other UK farmers. I'm Heather, Managing Director, and this is Farmer Phil. Who grows the flowers? Nice. Well, some of them. Yep. Um, Farmer Phil, we're based on Lower Blakemere Farm. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, Lower Blakemere Farm is <coughs> essentially a Duchy of Cornwall farm, so the Prince of Wales owns it and we rent it from him in the guise of the Duchy of Cornwall. Um, we grow, uh, in terms of arable, all combinable crops, all for seed. We grow some bird seeds and sunflowers usually. We contract out some other crops for bird seed. Um, we have a herd of single suckler cows. Produce, What's single suckler? Um, they rear their own calf, so that we, we breed the calves. The calf has six months with his mother, or her mother, and is then weaned and goes off to Wills to be fattened. And you grow peas? We grow vining peas for seed, so that, that the, what we produce is planted by another farmer for green harvest then to go into frozen peas. So is this what I would call an intensive farm or an extensive farm? You know, what, what's the description? Um, difficult to draw lines, but I would say that the arable side of the business is quite intensive and the cattle side of the business is quite extensive and the bird seed and flower growing falls in the middle somewhere on the basis that the flower growing is more horticulture, but we're trying not to use too much chemicals and there aren't many we can use, so that, that, that's sort of extensive. Um, the cattle are extensive because we have a farm down in Wales, which is high up in the hills, and so we have a uh, few cattle to a lot of acres, so it's quite extensive. We don't put much fertiliser on, we don't push it too hard, and that works quite well. So you're a mixed family farm? We are a mixed <laughs> farm. The idea is that the, the by-products of some of the things we grow help other things, so that the uh, straw from the grass seed feeds the cattle in the winter time, the straw from the barley beds the cattle in the winter time, and so on. And the British flowers, how do they fit into the mix? Well, what we've done with the British flowers is that we've got a piece of field near the farm um, where we've planted some mostly perennial flowers. They're traditional mix, weren't traditional, they? Traditional, uh, quintessentially English was the description given. So we've got lots of things like dahlias, and we will have some peonies, um, and then we've got a variety, a spread of different flowers, um, as I say, mostly perennial at the moment, so that it will be a permanent flower patch. So brilliant for the wildlife on the farm. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and it means that we can expand it into the rest of the field as time goes on. So that when we plant more things and we start to plant some more annuals, um, we've got some bulbs, for example, where we can grow those for a few years and then we'll, we'll dig them and split them and plant them again and so on. So that there'll be a sort of rotation within the flower patch, but the flower patch will be a flower patch. And is it unusual to have a British cutting flower patch? I think the last statistic that I heard was that only 10% of the flowers sold in Britain were actually grown here. Um, yes, I think that's probably true because of the, the, the customers' demands for more exotic flowers, which fairly obviously come from exotic places. But having said that, I think the unusual thing about our flower patch is that uh, British flower farmers tend to specialise in a few types of flowers. It makes management easier. Whereas what we're doing is making life truly hard for ourselves <laughs> and grow a wide variety of flowers with different management techniques that we're learning all the time. But it means that we can give you, the florist, a variety of things over a spread of time. Whereas at the moment, to buy British flowers, you have to collect together a number of farmers, one of whom will provide delphiniums, another will provide daffodils and so on, but not many of them grow a large number of different species. And all the flowers in the Great British Florist are British, but they're not all from you. That's right. The idea is that we will supply some of the market from here. Um, there are some things that obviously we can't do. For, for example, if you want flowers early in the season, you have to go to the southwest of the country because the weather gives them early flowers. Um, we may or may not at some point consider using a polytunnel to give us a bit of a spread, but geography gives us spread of season and spread of varieties. We have frost, for example, whereas down in the southwest tip of Cornwall, they would have much less so, um, and they can grow things that we can't. So if you'd prefer your flowers not to have been flown halfway around the world, what about the great British florist? 
check out our videos we've got lots more inside the floristry and if you want to follow farmer phil on twitter you can and if you want to ring us up we're on 01981 500 391 and we're based at wiggly wigglers lower blakemere farm herefordshire thank you for watching